in food science spoilage of the food and its preservation is very much important to understand so we will understand about all those topic so first question is water spoilage bacteria so spoilage bacteria are microorganisms that cause food to deteriorate and develop unpleasant odors tastes and textures they not only deteriorate the food but it also develop unpleasant odor taste and there is some changes in textures or its appearance then classify food on their stability so we can classify food based upon how long it can stay its uh, self life all those things so perishable food such as meat and fish these are called perishable food because they are uh, having very less self life they are destroyed in a short period of time they are deteriorate in a short period of time then semi semi perishable foods such as potatoes these foods have little higher self life and then stable foods such as cereals flour and sugar okay these are all stable foods because their self life is very high and condition is there that any stable food or semi stable food becomes perishable if the food go becomes moist if that food is moisturized then that food's self life is just is reduced a lot okay that is the thing we have to understand then what are the types of food spoilers food goes through different kinds of spoilers so first it's slime food becomes slimy when there are many bacteria that they touch one another forming continuous film of mucilages they uh, bacteria what they do they will uh, formly attach each other and develops a slimy appearance slimy touch because of their mucilages film okay this is called slime then my uh, soaring foods may go soar when the microorganism produce what acids microorganisms produce what acids because is what soar meal discoloring food may become discolored from microbiological growth some molds have colored spores for example black molds on bread so one more uh, deterioration food spoilage is what discoloring when uh, some uh, molds which are colored in nature like such as black molds black molds on bread they do what they change the color of the food they will change the color uh, to blue or green all those things then sometimes uh, meat becomes green due to what due to the growth of microorganisms then another food spoilage is gas bacteria often produces gas as a by product which affects food okay there is a change in uh, food where gas will be produced that is called uh, that is what that is due to the by product of microbiological metabolism meat becomes spongy in textures this gas leads to what sponginess of the meat then packages cans or vacuum packs will swell they will swell their regular shape will be changed can you you, you know that cans will be swelled from inside due to this bacteria they they create some gas then another food spoilage is uh, odor 
रोटेन स्मेल्स डेवलप फ्रॉम द ब्रेकडाउन ऑफ व्हाट कंपोनेंट्स द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ सच प्रोटीन ग्लूकोज ऑल दिस थिंग्स विल बी ब्रोकन डाउन दैट्स वे देर विल बी वन चेंज इन स्मेल रोटेन स्मेल विल डेवलप ओके देन व्हाट कजेस वी हैव अंडरस्टूड व्हाट इज फूड स्पॉयलेज व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ फूड स्पॉयलेज देन व्हाट कजेस फूड स्पॉयलेज फूड स्पॉयलेज कैन बी कॉल्ड बाय ए कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ वेरियस फैक्टर्स सच एज लाइट ऑक्सीजन हीट ह्यूमिडिटी और ऑल काइंड्स ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स अंडरस्टूड नो दिस फूड स्पॉयलेज इज कॉस्ड ड्यू टू व्हाट वेरियस फैक्टर्स सच एज ऑक्सीजन ऑक्सीजन कैन ऑल्सो डेमेज लाइट ऑल्सो कैन डेमेज हीट कैन ऑल्सो ह्यूमिडिटी मोर मॉइस्चर कैन ऑल्सो डेमेज एंड वन मोर रीजन माइक्रोब्स माइक्रोब्स कैन ऑल्सो बी द कजेस ऑफ द फूड स्पॉयलेज अंडरस्टूड देन हाउ टू हाउ डू बैक्टीरिया स्पॉयल फूड वी हैव मोर कंसर्न अबाउट द बैक्टीरिया इन दिस वीडियो देर आर डिफरेंट स्पॉयलेज बैक्टीरिया and is reproduces at specific temperatures some can grow in the low temperatures in the re refrigerator or freezer itself some can grow in the freezer itself there are there psychrophilic bacteria other grow well at room temperatures there are mesophilic and in the danger zone danger zone is what we are 5 degree centigrade to 60 degree centigrade they can grow easily and bacteria can grow anywhere if they have access to what nutrients and water two things nutrient and water if available if there is the access of these two things then bacteria can grow easily under the right conditions this can grow and this porous bacteria what they will do they will grow rapidly if the proper uh, condition is provided proper uh, suitable environment is favorable environment is given then they will go very rapidly okay and the population can grow in large size their size will be very large and at last what will happen food will be spoiled in some cases they can double their number in a, as little as 20 minutes they will take just 20 minutes to double their size the large number of microorganisms and their waste if the population is growing what will happen there will be waste generations which will uh, cause what objectionable changes in what in smell taste texture hence food will be spoiled so basic things we have understood that if bacteria will grow there will be some negative changes in the food then what are the food what is food we have understood food uh, spoilers what are the reasons now what is food preservation food preservation is the process used to slow or stop the progress of what spoilers by using heat treatment sugar salt acid or any preservatives here the important thing is we have to stop or slow down the spoilers of this food by using what by using heat some uh, sugar some salt some acids and some chemical preservatives which are allowed by fssai then what are the principles of food preservations this is important we have to understand clearly principles is what first prevention or delay of microbial decompositions this is important what we have to uh, delay or prevent the growth of micro microbial decompositions then by by doing what we can do this by, by doing what we can uh, prevent or delay microbial decompositions by keeping out microbes by by keeping out microbes we can 
वी कैन कंट्रोल वी कैन डिले द मैक्रोवेल डिकम्पोजिशन एंड दैट स्टेप इज ऑल्सो कॉल एज एस एफ सी इट इज कॉल कीपिंग आउट माइक्रोव्स बाई डिफरेंट गुड हाइजीनिक प्रैक्टिसेस और ऑल दो प्री रिक्वेस्टेड प्रोग्राम्स वी कैन इम्प्लीमेंट हुई कैन कीप आउट माइक्रोव्स दैन रिमूवल ऑफ माइक्रोव्स दैट इज कॉल फिल्ट्रेशन बाय द हेल्प ऑफ फिल्ट्रेशन और एनी अदर प्रोसेस वी कैन रिमूव द माइक्रोव्स दैन बाय रिड्यूसिंग द रेट ऑफ माइक्रोबियल ग्रोथ बाय लोअरिंग टेम्परी टेम्परेचर ड्राइंग एंड एरोबिक कंडीशन एंड chemical inhibitors we can give some chemical inhibitors by the help of those chemical inhibitors the uh, growth will be stopped microbial growth will be stopped or delayed reduce the rate of microbial growth or and last is what by killing microbes by the help of heat or irradiations by applying some uh, irradiations in the unit what kg per ray we can uh, kill the microbes irradiation is also called what cold sterilization then prevention or delay of self decomposition of food by inactivation of food enzymes of this uh, different different foods we can also and delay the self decomposition by inactivating inactivating the enzymes present within the food this is also called as blanching and by preventing by by uh, prevention of chemical reactions by the help of antioxidants by the help of some antioxidants we can prevent some chemical reactions which will lead to the delay of self decomposition of food so in this video we have understood about food spoilage and different principles of food preservation thank you thank you a lot